I'm constantly being challenged by politicians and other marketing people to pre create articulated scripts and scenes and marketing ideas and political consulting that makes them feel good, makes them look good, makes them do good. The problem is that we have American citizens that want to live here, stay here and play here, and don't want to do any good in the world. Their life is completely out of balance. They're focused solely on themselves most of the time or their friends or family, which is typical. But that doesn't change the world today. What changes the world today is a life story that's harmed. But here's the problem. You don't have the right to someone else's life. You don't have the right to harm them. But your attitude today is that I have the right to abuse. I have the right to fight. I have the right to kill. I have the right to maim. I have the right to molest. I have the right to mutilate. And I'm not talking about me in the terms of I. I'm talking about the proverbial I. That you sitting there across that street, around the corner, hiding in the shadows, doing things illegally, immorally, illicitly at night, feel you have the right to harm someone. Why do you think God is raging the world with COVID? Because so many people are trying to play God in other people's lives to harm them. In America, we have rights. And what I'm saying to people who want to talk to me about my ministry of food is there's three ways you can help me. You can provide me canned goods that match my actual cellular health. That would be canned proteins such as chicken, ham, pork, and if you do, need to, beef. Please don't play me with salmon. Don't give me tuna. I can't handle that. Most people can't either. Also, it's not well impacted today. At the same time, you might offer me a can of tea, such as the Arizona Tea Company, which I think are okay marvelously with me, or some sort of country time lemonade that comes in a can. Fruit juices are okay, but they can be fattening to me and you, and they often have way too much syrup and way too much salt or way too much sugar. I'm a straightforward fella, I'm a straight shooter, and I do swear a hell of a lot these days. Much more than I ought to, much more than it's professional, but that is my life today. That every time I try to create something new, every time I do something for you, every time I'm practically hard to do something, some little motherfucking shitbag from some retail shop fucks it up for me. So they might want to get me off the block, then stop fucking my account. Stop interfering. But if you think that God is endearing, he is endearing. But you are ragingly, your attitude is what people say, no, I'm ragingly mad. That every moment of my life this past year, someone has had tried to interfere with my rights. It is a total, complete, legally sound approach to call it abuse. It is 100% physical assault, 100% sexual assault, 100% religious abuse and hatred for me and other people. Please stop lying to yourself about what you think as a total stranger you have rights to do to me with your family, your friends, your social network, your professional contact.